Hello fellow creative tycoon simulation lovers, Mike here with another Planet Coaster Console PS4 Edition video. Today we are going to build a light up indoor arcade using grab machines and whatever else we can find to make it look and feel like an arcade. So I hope you watched my first Planet Coaster PS4 video I recently just posted where I showed off this theme park because today we're not going to be taking a look at the park but we're taking a look at the custom arcades I've built in this park and we're going to be building one of them together. As I mentioned in the park tour video this game is way too complex so unfortunately I'm not going to be the person to teach you how to use and play this game but I am happy to be a little inspiration and happy to show you some ideas for building in this game. If you don't want to build one of these arcades for yourself then you can download them from my creator studio profile. These arcades look super cool, they light up in spectacular fashion at night and guests will enter and use the machines if you connect them up to the main park pathways. Ok it's time to get on with building one of these arcades together. Before you custom build anything I recommend building it on a separate save file or away from your park. Save it as a blueprint then use it anywhere at any time on any park you wish at a later date. As you can see I already have these small arcades I have already built so I'm going to step up the game a little with this one and make it twice the size or almost. One thing to mention is every button you could need is on show at all times. If you look closely at your UI and control panels, every button has an option on display. And if you're struggling to position things where you want them, take a look at the control panel closely and look through the movement options. And I'm sure you will find a way to position any piece however which way you want. First off you want to find a material that will look good for an arcade wall. All items can be custom coloured so in a way it really doesn't matter too much what walls you choose to build the structure. I liked the look of these glass panel walls so I used those with a combination of solid walls. In the other smaller arcades I have a drinks machine in two and a food machine in the other to help draw people into the arcade. On this one I'm going to implement a gift store and two vending machines, one drink and one food to make this building even more desirable for visitors to enter and to stop and spend some money on the machines. Ok so that's just the memento installed in this arcade and three walls built so let's work on the front. I won't have walls here but we will place some posts across the face and a couple inside for authenticity that can be coloured a little later on. At this point I did place a couple of roof parts but it may be best to leave these until after the next step as you'll see here. Yeah. 
This step is to install some arcade machines. All that we currently have on PS4 version is a grab machine. On PC I have most of the expansion packs uh, and I now have a grab machine, gumball machine, popcorn machine and a fortune teller in the arcade I'm building on my PC version. Don't forget to add a couple of vending machines to encourage visitors in. Each of the machines can be coloured any way you wish. So now go ahead and place in your roof parts. At this point it is the perfect place to save this as a blueprint for later use as this is the basic frame for an arcade to be built from so if you decide you want to build another one of this size you don't want to start over you can just place your blueprint of this build down and start from this point. After this we start to make it unique so it's best to save it here. These glass panel windows can be coloured to your choice, just like most construction parts. One thing to mention that happened here, I accidentally deleted the building. So two things to note. Undo, look at the control panel, see it says square, then a bunch of options. If you hold square, you can then press corresponding buttons for other actions, such as undo. Second, parts not included with the building can be found by deleting the building. Notice when the building deleted, one machine was left behind. This means it was placed before clicking on the building and selecting edit building. So I deleted the machine, selected edit building and placed a new machine. Be sure the ground around and under the building is highlighted when editing a building to be sure you are adding to the structure. When you want to place an item inside the building you will need to hold square to raise up and down once in the correct position. Then without letting go of square hit X to confirm. If you let go of square the item will jump back on top of the building. Okay, so let's start decorating the front entrance. I'm going for a grand casino circus arcade on this one, so I went with this neon glowing editable sign. These can have custom text on and can change to a colour of your choice, and they also light up at night. A little tip if you want to find signs that light up, search for the word lit, L-I-T. This will find you all signs that light up at night.
So now it's a matter of scrolling through endless props and lights that you think may make your arcade look stimulating. So here I placed a mechanical witch, alien and treasure chest just in front of the support pillars at the entrance like this. Now we want to add some more lights and details to the entrance. Once again I recommend scrolling through the signs and items with the word lit, light and lamp. Don't forget to use your search ability to narrow down the results. If you want a sign that you can customize to say whatever you like, search the term editable and you will be presented with all signs that you can edit. Don't forget to check that it is either neon or lit so that it will glow up at night. I also found these cool glowing star lights to place on the inside ceiling but I'll place more of those later. Ok next up you will want to get some flashing lights on the front and or under the front canopy for that authentic night light arcade feel. I use these variable lights that you can change the colour of like so. Then using the duplicate and move on axis tool I can place more and keep them all nicely in line with each other. Using the shorter 1 meter length I can now place some more lights around the edge of this sign like so.
I'll place another one of these casino lights I made at each side of the canopy here. Now I wanted to get some more of those stars on the inside ceiling but before I did that I wanted to make the ceiling and walls black to make these decorations and lights stand out more. You can change the colour of the roof and walls by simply clicking on them and changing their colour. Here is a cool item to use for lighting. I used the police lights on the inside ceiling to create a really cool atmosphere of an arcade. Check out how your lighting looks at night time at any point by holding square and hitting the time of day option using R1. Then you can change and set the time of day temporarily or permanently if you wish it to stay night or day by ticking the little box. Here I was using TVs around the gift shop, on PC these will actually play video clips but on console it looks like all we get is an image to work with for now so take advantage of whatever you can find in your inventory to get the look and feel you desire. If you want to find the TVs just search TV in the search box.
Okay, to finish up, I'm placing a few lights on the outside here to help light up the front a little. There you go, all that's left is to save your arcade as a blueprint and place it in your theme park. I love these arcades and I hope you do too, they are exactly what I wanted for my theme parks. Next up is utilities and shops so stay tuned for that and if you haven't already hit subscribe. Don't forget you can download these from my creator studio if you don't want to build it. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy building.